be grade 6. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at vertical column method subtraction. Now, the number one rule about this is you need to remember whenever you subtract, the rule is always going to be top minus bottom. And basically what this means is it's always going to be the top number minus the bottom number starting from your right. Okay. Now, you, this basically just means you can't turn the numbers around, okay? But we'll look at examples when we are borrowing, when you can't do that. For this example, there won't be any borrowing. It's going to be quite simple, okay? So let's just get into the flow of things. Starting from your units, 7, the top number, minus the bottom number, which is 4. 7 minus 4 is then 3. 3 minus 2 is then 1. Now remember, this is actually a 30 minus 20 is equal to a 10, but we'll focus on one column at a time to make it easier for subtraction, all right? 6 minus 5 is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Draw a line to indicate this is your final answer. Again, just look very carefully. Each number is written in its columns neatly. Do not write your numbers skewed. It will make things very complicated for you when it comes to examples where you need to borrow. In this example, we're going to be doing borrowing. Again, the number one rule for subtraction is always going to be top minus bottom. Okay, so starting from your right. Okay, in your units, you're going to start from the top. So zero minus 2. If you have nothing, you can't take away 2. You have no sweets, you can't take away 2 sweets, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm going to borrow from my 10s. So I borrow 1 from my 10s. There's a 4, I borrow 1, there's 3 left. And the 10 that I borrowed, I put over here. So now I have a 10 minus 2, which is then equal to 8. Again, the second one, Top minus bottom, remember you have 3 here, okay? You can't turn it around. You can't say 6 minus 3. So I'm going to say top minus bottom. So 3 minus 6, can I do that? If I have 3, can I take away 6? I can only take away 1, 2, 3, right? So I'm going to say borrow from my hundreds over here. So if I have 7 in my hundreds, I take 1 away, I now have 6 left. And the one that I borrowed, I put in the place of the 10, so I have 13, right? Please note, that is actually a 100 that you carried over, and that's actually a 3. So technically, this 13 is actually 130, okay? So 130 minus the 60. But we're going to look at it as 13 minus 6, which is equal to 7. Right, again, top minus bottom, 6 minus 1 is equal to a 5. Just note that's a 600 minus 100 is equal to 500. 2 minus 5, oops, I can't do that. I only have 2. I can't take away 5, all right? So I borrow again from my 6. So the 6 becomes a 5. The 1 that I borrowed, I put over there next to the 2. This now looks like a 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 becomes 7 and 5 minus 3 is a 2. I draw a line to indicate this is my answer. Please note, you need to show these steps on top, okay, to show that you did do the calculations in order to get all your marks. Thank you so much for joining this session. All the best with your practicing.